Janelle. I'm here at the beautiful Foustic House for some cocktails with friends and to see what the good life is all about in the Caribbean. for having us. I can't wait for you to tell me what life is all about in the Caribbean. You know, it's, uh, this property is just breathtaking everywhere you look. But this, this house was originally um, a plantation house in the 1700s. The gardens themselves extend with many walkways and pathways that you can stroll and, mm -hmm. and uh, get yourself lost in your own thoughts. It's so romantic. <laughs> as, as I was saying earlier, it is um, it's breathtaking. I mean, it's, it's the good life. Been there any famous people who stayed here? Well, there have been many famous people who've stayed here, but part of the beauty of this property again is the fact that we keep these things private. And uh, uh, if you are famous and you want to stay here, you're more than welcome. But no one will ever know that you've come. <laughs> you know? And I think I think we, we, we keep we keep that as the pride of the property, I think, is to maintain that privacy. That, that many of the people are looking for. Is it true that the that Barbados is the most richest island here in the Caribbean Sea? Well, they, they come to play golf. And another big thing we have is polo. So we have, oh, we have, we have uh, five, I think it's five big polo fields there. The Barbados, Barbados culture has to do with party, fun, happiness. You know, when you come to Barbados, you come for the sun, the sea, and the rum, and the, and the people, you know. And, um, what about living here? For you, it's everyday holiday, or do you have to work here? <laughs> <laughs> I think when you get to this point, um, the work has been done, and the holiday becomes perpetual. I couldn't imagine a better way to start the evening here. This beautiful home, and then the garden, and a nice glass of champagne, and really good company. So where do we go from here? Well, I've got a special place in mind for this evening, and uh, we'll keep it as a surprise until we oh. get there. Well, guys, welcome to my uh, favorite spot on the island. As I oh. told you, it was quite a secret spot. You know, I think we, uh, we're all going to enjoy a great night here. Uh, Chef Mu, who's uh, going to be cooking for us tonight, is a dear friend of ours, and he does a spot-on job. So I'm sure everyone's going to enjoy it. Chef Mu. Chef Mu. Mm -hmm. The menu is oh, so good. The menu good. is watering. so good. It is written with love. What is the typical Caribbean meal? Uh, what would you say? I would say looking at this menu. Fish is usually a very Caribbean meal. Right, fresh fish, right fresh from fish, the ocean. Straight from the ocean, yeah. caught today. So you're guaranteed a brilliant fish if you, if you eat the fish. Well, there's and a there's a heavy British influence here. Well, Bobby's right? was called Little England yeah. to begin with, Little and England. it was uh, you know a colony of England for many years prior to our independence. And an offshoot of uh, of that also is our sugar industry was run primarily. From, from the English side of things. And many of the people that ran the plantations in Barbados were of English, English um, heritage. And the first settlers to land in Barbados landed on the west coast in St. James, in Whole Town. But we are talking about the first settlers English or the first settlers the Portuguese? Yes. Ah. Well, yeah. Because yeah. The, the real first settlers were the Amerindians, yes. the Arawaks and the Caribs that came from South America originally from Venezuela. They were settled here, they were having a wonderful life here, eating all the seafood and fish that they could uh, get. Everything changed when these yeah. Europeans came. Well, this, yeah. sounds, this sounds As familiar. It, yeah. the new world. But the Caribs comes from Venezuela. They were the strongest uh, sort of Amerindians. Uh, they were cannibals. cannibals. They were sailors. So that means that they were, they populated most of the islands in the Caribbean, also the Arawaks. The Arawaks were more uh, social, they were different in their way of being, but they were living also in the most, most of the islands of the Caribbeans. But both uh, tribes or 
the sort of people, the social people of those days, they came from Venezuela and what we will call Guyana nowadays. Well, people from different islands will say that they they are from that island that they live in, mm -hmm. and uh, we're very island proud, is what I call. It, okay. You know? So a Barbadian would say they are Barbadian, and there are certain things that are very Barbadian to them. You go to different islands, you find. Uh, a, a, a different dialect, as it would be in, in other North American or, or, or any any country in the world, really. And as you move through the Caribbean, there are different cultural differences that, that exist between the islands, but there are also great similarities. So obviously, the sun, sand, and the beach creates a certain commonality amongst us all. You know, so from that point of view, there there, there are there are many similarities. But if you talk to a person from Saint Lucia. They're adamantly Saint Lucian, and they're definitely not <laughs> okay, okay, okay. from any other yeah. island. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. the same. And with, with each culture has has its own uniqueness. So let's clap, Peter. Oh, wow. oh, look at that, Peter. Oh my God. that looks spectacular. As everything. Goes. That's a kingfish. No, that's a kingfish. That is just that, lovely. That is, that is my fish. fish. The Barbados water, kingfish. This too. Oh. Saltfish, yes, yeah. saltfish. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm naturally born in Barbados. My uh -huh. mother, well, she studied in England, so I had a little experience outside. So I'm a hundred percent Bajan. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Wow. And what do you do for fun? Like, do you go dancing with your yeah, friends? Definitely. I go to Gap. I love to party and I love to drink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with, uh, with the men, I guess. Yeah, so, yeah with the beautiful men. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you love Barbados too, I mean, is everything that you could really enjoy here. Uh -huh. Partying is lovely. The people are nice. The food. The is food lovely. is so lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody's enjoying it, right? Yeah. Everybody. Move! You know what you're to see it. Thank you ever so much. How you doing? I want to introduce you to some of the guests. This is Steph. Hey, Steph. Peter, I think Moon, you nice know. Nice to meet you. This is Ivana. The Rock, I know. Nice to be again. How do you do? <laughs> How's everything tonight, guys? Oh, it was excellent. Yeah. Meet you. You guys made me work hard. Oh, it did really, but let me tell you, your hard work paid off. That was oh, just yeah. spectacular. <laughs> I told them I would surprise them, and I think they're all very surprised. Yeah, right. yeah, Chef, yeah. what is your favorite meal to prepare here? Uh, I'd probably say seafood. Yeah? Yeah, just because you know, there's a, a tremendous amount available to us on the island. Yeah. Why do you love Barbados? Uh, good question. I, I have to say, uh, first and foremost, probably just the people on the island make it very easy for me to be here and enjoy my work really I like the probably the lifestyle the most the work is work I can cook anywhere in the world the kitchen is a kitchen but it's after work that I love you know daytime beaches surfing scuba with the rock uh, you know the nightlife is fantastic it's yeah it's nice easy living yeah you know, but I want to thank all of you for coming tonight right Cheers to all of you. This is what the Barbadian and the Caribbean experience is all about. Many cultures coming together, sharing, enjoying, and feeling right at home. And I've welcomed you to my home, and one day, I'll intrude on your home.